Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. This is the fifth video in my Python programming series, and today we're going to be talking about chained conditionals and nested if statements. Um, so pretty much chained conditionals are just adding multiple conditions in one, uh, one line with using words like and and or. Okay, uh, we also have a keyword not that we're going to talk about as well. So if you haven't seen the last videos in my series, go ahead and get watch those now because they are a prerequisite for this video. All right, so let's get right ahead and start. Um, so if you remember before, we have something called conditions. So for example, if we have the variable x, I'll set that to 2, and the variable y, which is equal to 3, we could have a condition like x equal equal y. Now obviously we know from the last video that this is going to give us a value of false, Oops, and I cannot type today, sorry. Um, and that is because 2 is not equal to 3. Pretty straightforward. I hope you have all understood that from the last video. All right, so what we want to do in this now is we're going to want to check multiple conditions. Um, so we'll put a condition here. So if x is equal to y, and then we can put a word in like this, the and word. Um, now we'll add another condition. So if x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, so this first condition is going to give us a value of false, so if x is equal to y, because they are not the same, but now x plus y does indeed equal 5, so that is going to give us a value of true. So where I'm highlighting, we have true, and then where I'm highlighting now again, we have false. So because we have the keyword and, this if statement is not going to run. So I'll put a print here just to show you. We're going to print out true, or let's just say ran. And you'll see when I run the program, nothing is going to happen. That is because when we use the and keyword, it means both conditions on either side must be true. So if we change this to something like if y is equal to 3, now that is going to be true. And we'll print out ran. Okay, so that's pretty basic. Now let's do the or keyword. So we'll put or right here, and we'll change this condition back to if y is equal to x. And now take a guess on what you think is going to happen. Well, pretty much with the or keyword, it means either of the conditions have to be true. So if y is equal to x or x plus y is equal to 5, then we are going to run this line. Now, since x plus y does equal 5, we have a true here. And again, y is not equal to x, so we have a false. And you'll see that the program is going to run. That's because only one of the condition conditions has to be true for it to run. OK, so that is the AND and the OR keyword. They are pretty straightforward and pretty basic. Now, I'd like to point out that you can actually add as many conditions as you'd like. So now I can have an OR, I can have an AND, um, I could have another condition. I could do as many as I possibly can imagine and as many as I'd like to do. Um, so now we'll put an ELSE statement in here. And we'll change this just a little bit to use another keyword. We'll just put a sad face here to show that we didn't run it, that we ran the else, okay? Um, so now there's something called the not word, okay? So we're going to put not right here around it, and then I will show you what it does. So pretty much not reverses anything that you have inside of the brackets of the not. So in here we have if y is equal to x or x plus y is equal to 5. So we know again that this gives us a value of true. Um, so now since true is inside of the not, true becomes false. Now we have if false. Um, so obviously that's going to bring us to the else statement, um, which is going to print the sad face. So I'll show you that that does indeed work. So we have the sad face, right? Now if we change these so that both of these conditions are false, you'll see that we have false, false, um, which is going to give us an overall value of false. Um, and then we're going to have the not, which is going to change that into a true and will allow us to run it just like that ran. Um, so yeah, so that's how the not, the and, and the or work. Uh, and now let's get into nested loops, or sorry, not nested loops, nested, nested if statements. So we'll do a basic if statement here, if x is equal to 2, um, if y is equal to 3, um, and then we'll add our else's like this, and we'll put some print statements in here. 
Okay. Uh, just give me a second while I type out the print statements, and then we will go into what this is going to do. X equals two, and Y equals three. Um, so you may have guessed already, but pretty much we can actually add as many if statements embedded or nested as we'd like. So I could add another if statement here and just constantly keep checking. Um, now the reason I showed you chained conditionals is because if I didn't want to go through the hassle of adding all of these uh, nested statements, I could just do an and right here and check for another condition, but sometimes we do want to do uh, nested statements. So we'll say here x equals 2, y does not equal uh, what is it? Three. Okay, so uh, I know I just did that pretty quickly, but let's walk through it now. So we have if x is equal to two, then we're gonna run whatever is in here because it is indented. Uh, so now we come in here and we say, well, is y equal to three? Let's say it is. Now we're gonna print out this statement and we're gonna be done with this loop, with this uh, bit of code. So we're gonna skip down to the end of the program where we have nothing else. Um, then, so let's say we do another example, x is equal to 2, but y equals 4. So that means we're actually going to run the else, which means now we've got print x is equal to 2, but y does not equal 3. And then the last case is x is not equal to 2, so we don't even bother checking if y is equal to 3. We just go down and we print x does not equal 2. So we'll change around the variables and we'll show you how this works just very quickly. So we can see x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. That is because obviously up here, 2 and 3. Now if I want to change y and we change it to 4, we get x is equal to 2, but y is not equal to 3. So that means we ran this one in here. Now let's change it so that x is equal to 4 as well. And we can see we get x does not equal 2. All right, so that's uh, the basics on nested statements and chained conditionals. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to be getting into some more advanced topics. And in the next video, we're going to be covering loops. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, uh, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.